right, now we can heat it. What we got going on? Intake stuff? Yeah, final touches. Pretty much done. Basically final touches, yeah. I forgot what vlog it was that we ended up driving this around. Oh, uh, what did we do? It was uh, some of the tube front stuff, I believe, right? I think so, yeah. But, yeah, it's pretty much running, and it's running a lot better this time. When we drove it, couldn't really get into boost, didn't want to go um, high RPMs, but he's getting a tune through our Centropy, and they sent him the uh, piggyback or full ECU. It's a, it's a Z32 ECU. That and this is kind of like a piggyback. And then so what, you just told him your mods and all of that, they yep. gave you a bass tune, and you've been messing with that the past couple days? Yeah, he's going to, um, he helped me out with going through everything, have me drive it a little bit, tell him what the AFRs are, and he's gonna send me like a, just like a retune, and then have me do that, and then I can bring it into Dino that whenever that'll happen. So that's why he's making this, uh, to move the map farther away, right? He, he recommended it? Yeah, here are many. Just moving it some. So just add in, adding the piece up. Of course, we'll pull it out in a little bit, but um, everything's, I mean, looking good. As you guys know, fender and tube, basically whole front end and stuff is all together. Um, all of the kit has been mocked up. He fiberglass the side skirts together, as well as the rears you guys have already seen. So that's pretty dope. The last thing that you're waiting for is technically the rear glass, right? Yeah. When's the tune? Not sure yet. I have to kind of figure that one out. In all reality, it's ready to be taken. Do you have so, to schedule in advance? Yeah, I think it's four weeks in advance for him. So, probably get back to him once he sends me the retune and then see about scheduling a dyno. Because there's no cold start right here, where uh, he blocked this off so that the RPMs don't like jump up and stuff. Did you guys hear like a lot of like Beamers and Volkswagens and stuff have crazy RPMs? So right here, we're basically making the throttle be a little bit up by putting like this little washer um, inside, just so when we start it, maybe it'll hold the RPMs a little bit higher for until it warms up. Yeah. swing around the block, eh? Uh, right turns suck. <laughs> All you can hear is fender. That's good. See? Good soup. Left turns were good. It's a little like...
Feels fought over been, the spinner boys. They've been so passed around. Whoa. Hey, have they not? Chill. We, I brought all four because I didn't know what tires were better. Because, or. If I take it tonight, um, these don't leak. Oh, that's right. So we're yeah. putting them in the front? Yeah, the front. The rear will be good. And I don't think they'll fit. Maybe. They'll look cool. 10, 10 and a half? 10. The 10s? And they might fit in the rear. Try it. I doubt it. Why is it so much easier? You can actually see behind the fucking face of the wheel. <laughs> yeah. No? No, it's, it's hitting. It's not too terrible though. Like yeah. the amount of space that. Well, look how much it, the top still has to go in. I got plenty of. It would need. Yeah. I throw, we'll throw like a 20 on it. Sheesh, buddy. Welcome to the three spoke gang, huh? I gotta see what it looks like. I gotta send these to Mix Match. I gotta oh. send these to Tri Spoker Bus. I gotta send oh. these to the Laurel no, God. Then, then they're all gonna be. Oh my I god. I gotta run these. Screw the Rivers. Voggies for life. And as you guys have seen already, the Voggies are on the Laurel. So we're doing this just because uh, the front wheels that he currently had on, the same ones that are in the rear, they leak a lot. And we are going to be taking it out for the first time ever, really, since the accident. Yeah. So uh, there's a double digits, double demon digits, double digits demons, 3D, baby. 3D, it's like this, 3D. But 3D uh, meet tonight, it is a private invite only meet. So hopefully um, a lot of the people that were invited show up, should be super sick. But uh, I'm excited to get this Laurel out driving. Maybe get some rollers, I'm actually gonna ride with him just for the experience and for the filming and then maybe on the way home um, I'll film and get some rollers. But should be a fun time. I think we are going to pull it out in the street and put the kit on, probably, we're leaving in a couple hours, so not too much else other than just checking PSI and all that um, to get the Laurel ready, but uh, yeah. Anything you want to say before we catch them later? I hope I make it. <laughs> Me too. Should be good. I mean, it's only what, like 12 miles, 10 miles away or something? And I think so, yeah. Not too far, but we will catch you guys later this evening. And we have arrived at the meet. I figured I'd give you guys a quick uh, view of Stu's new car, but pretty good turnaround. We uh, got like one, two, three, four, five kind of rows filled up. I do want to say that uh, we did not bring the Laurel out today. Um, you guys saw us get it, everything set up. We got all wheels on, we got everything fitted kit was on and then uh, we went to go leave the driveway and the valve stem in the rear would not stop pissing air. So my live bets have been yeah. hashed, well, you, but my college bets... Oh, no.
Mr. PJ. Mr. Ling Ling. Hello. You put What's on there? the uh Hey yo, you put look on at the this. Spot look now. at this, bro. We're looking. It's fire. And the night has come to an end. I'm ending the vlog here. Everybody's kind of dipped out, head out. It was pretty cool. Um, I didn't get too much content walking around. I mean, you guys saw some of the cars, but um, you know, just was talking to people and stuff. Again, super sad we couldn't bring out the Laurel, but we did bring out the Laurel, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. Uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, a little bit different editing style and filming style earlier. So if you enjoyed that, drop it down. If you noticed it, drop it down below. Tell me what you guys think. Hit that thumbs up. And if you're new, hit the subscribe. Stay tuned for uh, some of the content. Next week we have some crazy content. We got Tyler's turbo kit. Um, I'm working on the LS. We have a couple coilover installs on a couple different vehicles as well as picking up a potential new car. So, uh, I'm gonna just throw that out there. A lot of the people don't stay all the way to the end. Um, so if you did, well, then uh, shoot it down below. That's a hint just for you guys. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.